All right, check. Check one. Check one, two, three. Check. Okay, sounds good. There we go. Yeah. All right, then. Well, what is going on, people? What is going on? It is I, Craig, the tech guy, as the rebranding has become, has begun, I should say. And uh, welcome to the Porch Light Podcast. This is the first one as Craig, the tech guy. And I just want, wanted, to, wanted to say what up. And a big shout out to everybody, the 900 or so subs that have taken this long journey with me from everybody that's been here from the beginning to some of the newer people. Now, what everybody is probably wanting to know is why have I changed my name to Craig the Tech Guy? Well, it's because there was a tech guy that I heard over the weekend and he didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Like, literally, just didn't know what the hell he was talking about. So I have decided I went to the same school as he did. I got my online tech degree from the same university as uh, that same guy. And now I'm, I'm, I'm a tech guy. You know, I don't, I don't know what else to say. You know, it's, um, it's, it was, uh, it took me 48 hours to get the degree and, uh, it was hard. There's a lot of tech stuff going on. So if you all want to ask me any tech questions, um, you know, just ask away. I will definitely try to answer them. I have the Alexa here and, um, you know, if I can't answer it, then Alexa can. So, Alexa, how Sorry, you doing today? I'm not sure about so, that. Alexa, how you doing? I'm good. I hope you're doing well, too. Well, thank you. As you can see here. Um, yeah, I mean, I have my own AI here. I'm a tech guy. I built, I built the computer. I, I think that qualifies me. Yeah, I've got the world's most powerful computer sitting here. Twelve thousand and one dollar of hard work. But I want to give a uh, shout out to uh, everybody who uh, everybody hopefully uh, watched and uh, enjoyed the uh, Days Gone uh, that I played yesterday. If you didn't see that, go back and watch it. Um, hopefully you all enjoy it. Uh, what's going on to the people in the chat? Hit that like button as you come in here. Um, so let's see here. We got uh, Players United Gaming. Is this Mass Effect 5? <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> so uh, what's up there, Triple J? How you doing? So what's going on, Emirates 17? And uh, Darren Slaughter. And uh, I see you, Juro. Is it uh, H-A-N-M-A. That would be pronounced Hama. Is, is the end silent? This acid. But your fallen flock is blocking me from doing so. What fallen flock? <laughs> so, I don't have a fallen flock, dude. What's going on there, Lay? Yo, 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 he says. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, are you talking about that? I'm talking about I am the tech guy at this point. So, you can still hit the like button. It doesn't matter what the Xbox children do. So, oh, I did pronounce it right. Okay, I'm about to say I apologize if I was butchering it. So, um, yeah, you hit the like button. <laughs> I mean, it's, my contract is still under review. So, okay. <laughs> hey, I like it, though. I, I, I like being in limbo. So, <laughs> I come right down the middle. So, uh, game four of the Western Conference. Yeah, I had that on, uh, on ESPN3. So, how is it going? It was... Uh, it was 30. It was tied up when I saw it. It was 30 to 30 or something like that. So uh, shout out to those old Bang House Productions. What's going on? So, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to speak on that. Yeah, I just want to reintroduce to as being the tech guy. So, yeah, we'll get to that article right now because this is part of their their deal with uh, the whole the whole cloud thing. So let's let's. Um, I mean, this is just one of the things that uh, they're they're going to be doing. So uh, here we go. And um, 
So Sony, I don't know if anybody knew, knew this or not, but um, Sony has already um, got a soft script. And this is from Jay. This is what I'm saying. I thought everybody knew this stuff, but uh, Variety is reporting right now. This this article is four months old. I'm just pulling articles that I just thought everybody knew. But I I follow movies and the, and the back the the back lot stuff in Hollywood more than I follow video games. And I thought everybody knew this, but in January, um, Uncharted, which already has a script. I don't know if you all know the, the video game Uncharted. It's based on the PlayStation video game series. It follows the adventures of treasure hunter Nathan Drake. So the film stars Tom Holland. I mean, right now, Tom Holland, the guy that's playing Spider-Man, is signed. So again, that's a Sony actor already playing Spider-Man. He already works for Sony, and he's been offered this role. He has accepted it. So we'll have to wait and see. This could change. This is a January article. But I mean, my point is that they they they've got they're going to be looking at all their games. I was talking about the big budget games. I mean, they could do a Days Gone movie. They could probably start filming that tomorrow. You know, a Days Gone movie. But could you just get a Get some people in a biker outfit, and you start getting a machete, and you you start <laughs> killing zombies. Get a bunch of extras, you know. Mm, that looks good right there. So, but I thought everybody knew this. But a uh, part of it, and we'll just go right to the Sony article. Um, see if I can find it here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Start. It for movies. I'm just gonna type that in. All right, so there we go. This is now. This is from CNET. This is from CNET. Okay, Sony reportedly launches Marvel-inspired studio to turn games into movies shows. Okay, now I, I'm going to tell you right now, the shows are going to be streamed on the on PlayStation Now or View, or or Sony having their own network. This, this is my point, is that Sony, like all others, like all other movie companies, and I'm not talking about this Sony, I'm talking about like Paramount and Anna Perea and all these major studios, okay? They want a, they want a streaming service, okay? And that's where the money is. That's where, the, I mean, that you can put movies that, that aren't being shown, you can just put them on a streaming service. I mean, would you not I mean, you can put the, the Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland, not Tom Holland. And in theory, you can put the ones with Tom Holland, but you can put the ones with Tobey Maguire and then those other ones with that other horrible was Andrew Garfield. You can put those Spider-Man. There's five Spider-Man movies. Now, whether you like them or not, subjective. That is subjective. But, you know, people want to, somebody wanted me to, to touch on this. I just want people to understand that there's a lot more going on than just games. I mean, again, I enjoy, um, I mean, talking about movies and shows and stuff like that as much as the next, you know, as much as the next nerd does. But um, this is part of, if you're going to do shows and stuff like that, I mean, Uncharted, a, a giant movie probably won't happen. That probably won't happen. But uh, can they do a streaming show? Possibly. Now, if they got Tom Holland, if he's still signed on, let me make that clear. If Tom Holland is still signed on, it may make a wide theater release, but more than likely it's going to be a show. But can they can they do a, like I said, an Uncharted, an Uncharted, a Days Gone type show, episodic show? Yes. I mean, Microsoft is doing a Halo show. So why why wouldn't Sony look into doing this this stuff now? Uh, Bioware had a ride, a theme ride uh, about Mass Effect. They did. I don't know if you all knew that. They had a theme ride about uh, with Mass Effect. So just FYI for people. <laughs> and uh, so with this this to me, I, I like this kind of stuff. So it says PlayStation Productions is reportedly tasking tasked with adapting PlayStation games into films and TV shows. I see. I would go to. I would work for something like that. I mean that. I mean, and again, taking a page from Marvel's playbook, Sony Interactive Entertainment or S S 
SIE is reportedly launching its own studio to take its video games to the movie and, and the TV screen. Look, Sony is sitting there watching Marvel make billions of dollars off of comic books. That's what they're doing. They're, they're taking comic books, they're adapting the story to the screen, and they're making, and they made an interconnected universe. That's what they did. That's called the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, you know, just, it is what it is. PlayStation Productions is a new division of Sony Interactive Entertainment with the task of adapting PlayStation games into films and TV shows. The Hollywood Reporter reported Monday. Heading up the new studio will be Asad, I can't pronounce his last name, looks like Quiz, Quiz Bosch, <laughs> who was vice president of Sony Marketing, Marketing or Marketing for Sony Interactive Entertainment of America. According to the report, overseeing the studio will be Sean Layton, chairman of SIE, Worldwide Studios, the Hollywood Reporter said. So that's all right, so here we go. This is not the first time, and let's just get this clear. I'm glad this is here. This is not the first time a game company has gotten involved in the production of a movie based on its own games, Ubisoft and Activision. Now, Assassin's Creed was dog shit. It was dog shit. I don't care what anybody says. They had a white guy playing a Spanish man, and it was dog shit. Michael Fassbender, who I do like, and he is married to Alicia B. Lanker, who I think is just the bee's knees. I mean, I would take her out and let her supersize any meal at McDonald's. I'd get her a number seven and let her supersize the fries and the drink. And I wouldn't even ask her for one. That's a beautiful woman right there. But, I mean, I don't know if she's like a bag of snacks or looking like a snack, like Luca said. That's one of the funniest things. I'm going to have to have Luca on the show one day. And it's going to be called Make Craig Cool Again. So she can tell me what, like, the YouTube gaming streets are and uh, all this stuff that the kids are talking, these young young folk are talking about. And the name will be called Make Craig Cool Again. Maybe I can get her to come on. So shout out to her. Big shout out to her for having me on uh, Saturday. Appreciate her invite. And uh, hopefully I was able to. I was able to add to the conversation and not have any fuckery come out of my mouth. But um, but uh, but yeah, I just want people to know Warcraft. I didn't watch either. I heard mixed reviews, but Assassin's Creed made my butt hurt. My butt actually was sore. Gave me the red ass. It was so bad, you know. So, but the new PlayStation Productions, that's what it's called, will reportedly work with Sony Pictures for distribution of a new batch of movies and TV shows. There was no mention in the report on whether the Uncharted film, which is still in production, will continue with Sony Pictures or make the jump to PlayStation Productions. Well, it's going to more than likely go to PlayStation Productions, okay? But how much, I mean, I'm telling you right now, PlayStation Productions will probably make first line intellectual property TV shows and things like that. And then they're going to be put on the Azure cloud to stream to your local devices. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. Okay. Now again, that's what I've been told. And I do believe the person that I, that, that I, you know, that I talked to, but you know, let's just have to wait and see, but I'm glad this is why I was saying on a Lucas show on Saturday that there was more stuff that was going to be coming out. And this is some of the stuff. But it's here. It's here. This is coming from CNET. This is not some bullshit fanboy site. Okay. CNET. Okay. So this has been reported by a lot of people. So let's go from there. I mean, again, I don't have an issue with what this at all. You know, so it makes more sense to me than anything else. But let me come back to the chat real fast. What do you guys think? Okay. What do you guys think? So. You know, Blazers leading by four right now, but they'll get swept. Uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. So, <laughs> God of War. No, we'll see. That's just it. God of War is not, that's not even been concepted yet. Uncharted has has a director, as of January, has a director, has a soft script, and allegedly has Tom Holland, the guy that's playing Spider Man, uh, signed. To the project now that could change could have changed that was that article from variety was four and a half months old 
So things going to change because actors and directors and producers, you know, lead projects all the time. But uh, the uncharted script is in a, it was soft. That was reported back last, like last October. That a soft script though. So, but yeah, I would like to see a Mass Effect TV show. That's what I would like to see. So, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. So, uh, their TV shows are to be on PlayStation View. Fair enough. If it's going to be a show, I don't disagree with that. But you're, I'm just glad more information is coming out. And this, this again is why I said what I said on Saturday. And there's going to be more stuff coming out as the weeks come on. I mean, that's just, it is what it is. So, but, um, Bloodborne movie or show done right? Nah, I wouldn't do a. I didn't care for Bloodborne. So, <laughs> and Sony was using Amazon for streaming. They they still are right now. But um, at the end of the day, Sony does not want to put its move its motion pictures on Amazon. Why? Not, you know, they'll just create their own streaming. You know, they'll, they'll create their own streaming uh, library, and they can control the income i mean i hope hopefully that makes sense to you guys this this is more about the streaming than anything it's i mean again the playstation now in theory should improve under azure again i said before i tried playstation now in 2015 it was garbage i was playing a game called xcom and the screen kept literally buffering and a little circle would come up and I was like, what is this circle on, on my TV? And it would say uh, unable, it would say something like unable to signal loss. It was it said something like that. So, but and again, if so if Azure is, is a more stable product and can 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 do it better, then so be it. So be it. And Google's coming. I mean, everybody keeps thinking, uh, you know, Google is coming. Look, both Sony show at, in 2014 that they were willing to stream games or try to. 2014 is also the same year where Crackdown, kind of a segue here, Crackdown 3 was shown in 2014 in E3. I believe it was 2014 with the destruction and the power of the cloud and stuff like that. Now the guy has since come out, the guy that produced that, and said it was a proof of concept is what he did. They were just showing a proof of concept. So um it's um uh, <laughs> it you know it, it it's and people took it to be something that it wasn't you know even phil spencer at the time said that cloud-based computing and physics would be more for pc now that was five years ago that's half a decade ago that we've come further that the technology has improved so what's going on stardust how you doing there young man a council of small ears sony has a tv channel uh no, they shut all that shit down. I was uh, I did a podcast the other day, and a show in January that uh, they shut down the Sony streaming. All that shit shut down. So this it is what it is. So you no, know, that was done because Nintendo is also doing his Pokemon, Mario, Super Smash. Uh yeah, that's a good point. And Mario Brothers, that movie came out in the eighties. I mean, so yeah, it's a very good point. So they're not the it's not they're not the first studio, ain't gonna be the last to do it. Yeah. Mortal Kombat, that movie came out what the early was that the late 80s, early 90s, something like that? The the Mortal Kombat movie. So again, it's just, you know, it is what it is, guys. So um I you know, I would love to see a ghost recon type of game or movie, movie, I should say. So Gravity Rush anime show would be cool. Uh, they could do something like that. Yeah, fair enough. Very good point. That's something you could you could suggest it as a new studio. Once they once their uh, Twitter suggestion thing goes up, say yeah, how about a, a near Automata or Persona Five uh, type of? I think Persona Five doesn't it already have our Persona that it already have a cartoon anime, you know? But I'm just saying, you know, you can see something. From the Sony thing, like they did with that uh, cancer, ca is it Castlevania? How they did that animated movie? I don't know if you all saw that. That was actually good. So I mean, again, I'm not. This is stuff that you know. There's there's a lot of working pieces here. So um, this everybody needs to like, ugh, you know, uh, make a perfect TV show. The order, uh, possibly. Go ahead and suggest that to them. So go ahead and suggest that to them, bro. It's, it's okay. 
So that's actually a good idea. So it's actually not about it. The Assassin's Creed movie. Well, fair enough. Like I said, it made my I said my butt was hurting. So um I don't know about Dark Phoenix. I thought Ca I thought Shazam was a little better than Captain Marvel. But um Captain Marvel made more money, so <laughs> Rand uh, Rand doing more clickbait titles. Okay. But console war is over. I mean, it's been over since 2015. The, it's you're gonna see a lot more clickbait titles. So you're gonna see a lot of channels leaving too. I, I truly think um once next gen starts and you have the multi-plat games looking and running pretty much the exact same. Uh, kind of like that game Rage 2. It pretty it looks the same on both Xbox and PlayStation. So it's just, <laughs> you know, I do not know. Um, I don't know what else to say. So uh, internet's not bad here. Thank you, though. What's going on, Mega Davo? How you doing? What's the first game y'all think, or TV or movie? Well, right now, the, the movie looks like it's going to be Uncharted because they already have a script of that. And they already have an actor sign. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. So, um, But for me, I, I agree with what I've seen here. I, I like the, the thought of a, the Order 1886. That's a cool time period that they could do. And uh, they could probably get some cool-ass uh, stars to be in it. You know, to you know, to be in that show. So this, I mean, that's a good point. Uh, I mean, they can make it. Um, they can update it. They can have one season happening back when it did. They can have another season happening in, in today. So uh, that's a good idea. I, I'm telling you, once that studio goes up and they they take suggestions, go ahead and suggest the order 1886. I mean, again, it, it's it, it is. Just call it the order or something like that. So. Uh, the last of us, and eh, no, this is way too many zombie movies. So, God of War movie, we need Kratos can enter the MCU. <laughs> I guess anything is possible. So, I uh, play you on Ace Combat. I don't have Ace Combat yet. I got to get that joystick. So, or else I would. So, I I'm still lining up that joystick. I actually did find it for $35, though. So, I may pull the trigger on it tomorrow. So, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, Mortal Kombat was 99. Yeah, I can't remember. It was late 80s or, or 90s. Yeah, I couldn't remember which one it was. So, um, but again, the, the first Mortal Kombat movie was successful. The second one was garbage. I mean, it was straight garbage. But there's another Mortal Kombat movie coming. It's being produced by James Wan. That's the guy who uh, directed Aquaman. This FYI, if you all didn't know that. So, uh, Last of Us TV show would be dope. They already have one. It's called The Walking Dead. Pretty much, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, any ideas of next gen first party releasing on PS5? As far as games, yeah. I mean, it's like new, like new IP or IP that's being carried over. So. I mean, I think their Anchor IP next generation is going to be um, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I think that's their Anchor game, okay? Then if they're, and then whatever Sucker Punch is going to bring after Ghost of Tsushima, which is going to be a cross-platform game, so will Death Stranding. All those games are going to be uh, cross-platform. So Last of Us, uh, there'll be another Last of Us after this one. So. This stuff like that. So Kratos killed Thanos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tony Stark got him, didn't he? You know, spoiler alert. Haven't seen Endgame yet. I know. I thought you were going to go see it. Is it tomorrow you're going to go see it, Triple J? So, I mean, I'm going to go back and see John Wick tomorrow. $5 movie. So, yeah, the second Mortal Kombat was terrible. Yeah, I agree. A knack movie. Uh, that would be trash. But, again, it's already suggested. Uh no, nah, Lincoln, I'll stream some Mass Effect if you want me to. Actually, I'll have to do it tomorrow because I, I had my ass. I, my, they kicked my ass at work today. I mean, I was, I mean, I'm still tired. I'm going to be tired probably until tomorrow. Sony could go the cute CG route and do a Jack and Deck. Uh, possibly. 
I, I mean, again, possibly. But again, I, I personally think if it's going to be video games, if it's going to be video games, and I think um, I the order actually, again, that's a good idea for a video game. Not, I mean, straight up. I'm not saying that to be funny or for lip service. So, but what's up, Lincoln Clay? You got any uh, tech? Anybody got any tech guy questions for me? I am Craig the tech guy. So, you know, just, just FYI, I am Craig the tech guy. Uh, was John Wick leading to a Matrix reboot? No, but allegedly there is a Matrix reboot in the works. So. This, this FYI. So let me get to the next article here. All right, there it is. So there's a little, I got a little cold vein news here as well. But yeah, I think it'd be cool. I think it's a great idea. So I do, I think it's a great idea. So, whoops, there we go. So I got some cold vein news here. And uh, this is from bloodydisgusting.com. Uh, they do video games and other things. But uh, this was published 14 hours ago by Mike Wilson. Shout out to Mike Wilson. Cold Veins Network test dates announced. So, all right, and there's PayPal, people. Remember, my PayPal is always open. If you all like the channel and want to support it, uh, throw, uh, go to that PayPal, Craig Harris, and uh, Craig Harris 88. And uh, go ahead and uh, drop a little some aims for the for the church of, of the Messiah that, that, that has a new tech guy. Okay, but Bandy but Bandy uh, Namco has announced the dates for an upcoming network test for their Souls like RPG, uh, Cold Vein. So the console only test will begin later this month and continue to the first days of June. So um, I'd say this game's coming pretty soon. So so for North America, Cold Vein's network test begins May 30th. That's that's next, hell, that's uh, next Thursday, guys. And um, yeah, for Europe, the test starts May 31st. So it says, unfortunately for PC users, Looking to take this opportunity to play the game, the network test will only be done on PS4 and Xbox One. Those who are able to sign up for the network test will receive their Xbox One or PS4 code on May 29th, allowing you time to preload the demo before the test game, you know, before the game goes live. So Covain's coming out later this year. So again, this is good news. I mean, everything's going fine. Here's the um, let me pull this. Here's the James Wan uh Thing. If you all thought I was bullshitting you, here it is. Same, same site. Okay. Uh, James Wan produced a Mortal Kombat movie. It's finally happening with Simon McCoy directing. So again, this is this is happening too. Now this is over a week old. Again, I thought everybody knew this, but in case you all thought it was garbage, I, I was talking bullshit. Here you go. What I think Luca calls it receipts. You know, here there, there's a receipt for you in, in case you all didn't know. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, Cold Vein, I'm excited about that. So do I think the Lockhart will be the same T-flops as the Xbox One X or a little bit mo? I don't think it will be less. Um, I, I think I think as far as the GPU is going to be a cut down, but the CPU is going to be a lot better. So, I mean, that's my understanding. The CPU is going to be better. It's my understanding. So, again, I, I believe the Lockhart's goal, which I think is a good idea, is to game at 1080p 60 with uh, high graphic settings. That's what I think the goal of it is. Because, look, there's still more people have 1080p TVs in 4K. Yes, 4K TVs adoption is up, but they're already about to come out with 8K, right? Right. That's, that's, a, that's a fact. All right. So, um so it, it is what it is. So if more of us have 1080p TVs, and none, and what are we going to do? So again, playing a game at 1080p in, in high graphic settings at 60 frames a second, guys, you don't don't knock that. Okay, just don't. And any and any PC guy in the chat knows what I'm talking about. Okay, 1080p high graphic settings, 60 frames locked. It would be really good. How data, what, how data could Blu-ray hold? Is that how much data? 
can Blu-ray hold? It holds a lot more than red because red, the the uh, spectrum red, doesn't uh, hold as much information as blue does. I think yellow may be higher than blue. So and that was a good question. That was a good tech question, though. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank you there. I, yes, I am now a tech guy. Yeah, I mean, you know, I graduated. Took me. I went online. I took the inter internet course. You know, of uh, internet, you know, of IT fuckery. You know, and I graduated from uh, the same school that Next Gen 720 uh, did, and uh, which I think Next Next Gen graduated from Fuck Nigga University. So he graduated top of the class, though, according to him. And you know, I, I graduated somewhere down in the middle. But uh, it's the same. It's the same IT degree that that one guy's got. So I'm good. You know, I'm happy. So. The Almighty Spartan God's birthday is in a week, which I'll get him. I I don't know. Happy birthday. Come back here. I'll sing happy birthday to you. So, so let's see. Just pop up on Twitter feed. PS4 is now sold 96.8 million units. PSN now. I can use more than 94. Oh, that's damn. All right. Well, that's that's a lot of people. So um, I don't know, the Almighty Spartan God. Let me go to my trusty assistant here, Alexa. How many megahertz is in one gigahertz? That doesn't know. Alexa, how many gigahertz? I'm sorry. Never mind. Sorry, I don't That's know okay. that one. All right. Alexa, how many megahertz is in one gigahertz? Could you say that again? I said, as a matter of fact, let's just look that up. Let me show you the processing power of my tech degree here. You know, my tech degree is so Sorry, advanced. I don't know that. We're going to go ahead and um, let's see here. Go ahead and show you how I use my tech degree. And um, we'll just share that screen real fast. And um, say. Let's see. Well, there you go. A thousand. <laughs> there you go. This anybody? That's the conversion calculator. I mean, look how good my tech degree is already working. So thank you for that question. That was a tech question. I was I was glad I was able to go to the uh, to Google and get your answer. So, yep. Yeah, there you go. I did good. So there you go. I, you shouldn't have known that. I didn't know. That's why I went and, and, and got the tech thing to do with. So oh, you just realized I changed my name. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, the tech guy. So I'm up there. Yeah, hit that like button, people. Hit that like button. So, <laughs> so that's right. I am the tech guy. So. And like I said, if you like what you're seeing for, for Craig the Tech Guy, if you want to support the channel, let me go ahead and um, put in the uh, information here. And, um, and then go ahead and head to that. 60 FPS is weak. No, it's not. No, it's not. And whoever is saying that 60 is weak is not, they're not being honest. Okay, nothing wrong with 60 frames a second. So. You know, and, and again, if you want to do a hundred and you have, that's fine. But you're you're at a diminished return, and when you're at sixty, that's that's perfectly fine. So, you know, it is what it is. So, <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and hit up that PayPal if y'all want to. I'm, like I said, I'm getting that joystick. I found it for like forty bucks. So I found it for like 33, but after taxes and shipping, it came up to 40. So, yeah, I mean, again, so, I mean, the question was about the Lockhart, which at 1080, doing 1080p 60 is fine. That's, I mean, because you, and they got to sell it for about, uh, for 299 to 399. Maybe we'll get an announcement in, in next week or next month at E3. So have to wait and see. So they say the PS5, who is they? Okay, that's the first thing you have to you have to put a pause there. 
So it says, they say the PS5 Navi GPU tops out just under 13 teaflops, 12.9, but the memory volume is iffy. They say 24 gigabytes total, and others say 16 plus 4 for the OS. What does your sources say? Uh, I don't know anything about the uh, the memory volume. As far as the dev kits, the dev kits allegedly went out, and they were both, and they were, there were two dev, there were two to three dev kits that went out, and uh, they were both around 13. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it, it is, it, it's going to be, it, it's going to be what they need it to be. So, buy, buy a Nintendo, to, well, buy one for me. You know, just buy one for me. I got the PayPal right up there link. If you want to go ahead and donate for me to get a Nintendo 2D. S, I'll, I'll get it. You know, <laughs> you know it's, that's fine. You know, it's okay. So, sixty FPS ain't impressive at all. Oh, well, okay. What's thirteen divided by two? Um, I don't know. Let's ask Alexa. Alexa, what's thirteen divided by two? 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. Ah, it is 6.5. So did I get did, did we get it right? I think I got it right. The uh, anything above 30 is overrated. I mean, it's not that 30 is bad. I mean, it's not, but um at 60, look, I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey at 60 frames a second on PC when I still had access. I don't know what happened. It, it just it my access died. Um so um you know, but at 60 frames a second, I enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, graphically, though, I can tell you that the PlayStation version is about mid to high, depending on. But I like on the PC, I turned down the water settings, I turned down the cloud settings, like the, the clouds in the sky, because uh, again, there's really no big reason for that, because the water is the water. So. Said the next Xbox comes with a okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is, uh, Triple J. It might. So you didn't realize? No, I knew that the old consoles were running games at sixty. So you know, and, and yeah, they, and they went away from it. So they they went away from it. So they being the other thing. But uh, what else we got here? So we did my cold vein news. Yeah, we did the games to. Uh, yeah, that's hell. That's that's about all I had, man. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be about to jump off here in a minute and lay down and eat, eat some of my baked chicken I got going in there. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, a lot of games back in the day ran at 60 frames a second. So a lot of people didn't realize it. So you didn't realize it. So. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, the PS5 will be fine. It'll be strong enough to do 4K60 on a lot of their first party games. Of course, I prefer 1440p, but uh, that's just what I get. So, 6.5 is what our console is going to be, and divide by two for the dev kids. Oh, okay. So, you think the next PlayStation is going to be 6.5 T flops, or so? You know, it's just it is what it is. So, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. So, you know, I, I, you know, I just think that. Uh, I mean, if you want to play games at higher frame rates and better graphics, just just build yourself a PC. So, yeah, just build yourself a PC. It's not that difficult. I mean, hell, I did it. So I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So. <laughs> I mean, I tell you right now, when I put that CPU in, my it got tight back there. Let me tell you, I mean, it was tight back there, uh, putting that thing in. So, like, oh my God, I certainly hope I do this right. So, you know, so let me see here. <laughs> so J Dub has blessed me to to be the tech guy. <laughs> So uh, that's good for me. I have J Dub's blessing, so uh, that is good. So, 
The <laughs> and Carlos is still going back and forth with somebody, man. It is hilarious. Like I said, do not believe anybody who uh, who who believes your own lies. Okay, just don't do it. So, ain't worth it. It's not worth it. So, fourteen forty B looks like looks garbage and cheap compared to two to four K. But I mean, fair enough. I that's just that's the setting I prefer. You give me that plus sixty and some high high graphical settings, and that's I'm good. You know, I, I'm fine. I mean, I played Metro on PC at 60 and 1440p with uh, high graphic settings, and I had no problems. So it was a fun game. A little slow, but it was fun. So people focus too much on frame. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and building a, and looking at games on PC really – excuse me. I played Gears 4 on, on my PC, and I just ran it at 1080p. I don't know. I was up over 70 frames a second, and um, it was, I had fun. I mean, but I, you know, I had a good time with Gears, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, putting that CPU in that, um, in the, putting the CPU in, in the motherboard, it was tight. <laughs> but I said that last year when I was doing it, it was tight. So, you know, because I didn't know if it was going to work, and it didn't. My motherboard was bad. So I had to get a different uh, motherboard. Shout out to Jemai Dixon. I got the uh, the uh, 350B, I think B plus is what it's called. Motherboard worked like a charm. Worked like a charm. So you know it is what it is. But uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna jump on off here. I'm gonna uh, eat eat some baked chicken and watch some videos and just fall asleep. My my back's killing me after today. All right, guys, I appreciate you coming. This has been Craig, the tech guy, doing the Porch Light Podcast. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you being here. Y'all take it, take it easy. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.